Lauren, how you doing? All right. So a uh, magazine ad has a nice cohesion to the banner ad, but I, I definitely recommend removing this, this kind of teal cyan color here, these kind of frames that you've created, and use just use this background for the, the, the main image. Um, to be completely honest, I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure. If these don't fit any functional purpose, therefore they create a little bit of confusion for the viewer. So, Plus, it's not cohesive with the banner ad. So if you have something in the magazine ad, it should be included in the banner ad, right? Theoretically, to improve and to maintain a good, consistent visual um, uh, relationship between the banner and the magazine ad. Okay, but this is critique for the banner ad, so let's concentrate on that. I think the banner ad is good. It's got good page mechanics, definitely. One thing I recommend is do not animate the, the logo. Leave that logo in there at full opacity, the entire the entirety of the, 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 uh, the banner. Um, that's for branding, just to reinforce branding. Also, over here at www. you have the URL located on the banner, which is a little counterintuitive because you know people know that if you click on a banner, it's going to take you right to the website uh, for the company where all the pertinent information is readily available. So, so we don't need that's a little redundant right there. I would recommend including the location though, so you, not the contact information, but just the location. So you could say right here, you could say something like. Uh, Located in in uh, uh, located in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, or located in the island of St. Thomas, or you know, or just St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, something like that. Okay, the uh, perfect Christmas gift. That's good. That's perfect. But don't animate it. Leave that st uh, stationary. Leave that static. Okay, don't animate it. And then this experience our relaxing spot and humorous activities. We don't need that. That's just that's it's too much text for such a little area. So let's remove that and only animate and enjoy 10% off booking any overnight stay in December. Uh, theoretically, I mean, technically, that's all that needs to be required to be animated in the, in the banner. And anyways, if you take a close look at the rubric, the rubric indicates to animate the call to action, text for a call to action. So the rest is supplementary information, right? And I think that makes sense to keep the headline and the logo uh, visible at all times because at any point when the, the viewer comes in, they're going to see that this ad is about a perfect Christmas gift. It's also about Amethyst Bay. We can't say that while they're animating because if somebody looks at the web banner at this point right here, there's no logo. So it, nothing really makes sense. Do you see what I'm saying? So depending on when the person looks at the, the banner ad, during what point of the animation, it makes sense that there's enough visual information to create meaning. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know and I'll clarify. But that's a key principle in, in in design, specifically in uh, uh, any any sort of animate and animated uh, advertisement. Okay, so in summary, we've got the logo that's going to stay right there, right next to the logo instead of the URL. I would pull that logo down and, and, and just and, no, actually, logo is perfect. Um, so you have logo stationary right there next to the logo. You have the location. Uh, uh, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Remove this experience are relaxing. Leave the headline stationary. Do not animate it. And then animate in the enjoy 10%. And that's it. And you are good. And take that and try to create the, the cohesive nature with the, the, the magazine ad. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> Okay, those are my recommendations moving forward. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to clarify anything, uh, any questions that, that come up. Okay, thank you very much.